So I think it's safe to say that Amazon is quite possibly on the verge of taking over the planet with their bald villain at the top of the whole production. With everyone being stuck inside for the greater part of the last two years, the pandemic made Amazon swell up like a fat tick ready to pop, only this tick wasn't filled with blood, but with pure profit lining Jeff Bezos' pockets. Going from book salesman to one of the most powerful people on the planet in less than two decades is impressive to say the least, but there's just some things money simply cannot buy. And at this point, most of us out there know someone who has worked for Amazon, most likely either at their warehouse sorting packages or driving around in various sized trucks delivering packages to people's houses. I swear every other car on the road these days is an Amazon van. They already make up almost 2% of jobs in America, and some economic experts even predict that in the next 10 years that number could rise to 10%. Make no mistake, we will see a day when people go to the Amazon grocery store to buy their Amazon groceries in their Amazon vehicle off of their Amazon phone. And let's get one thing straight. People don't work at Amazon because it's fun or because they feel respected. They work there because the pay is much better than they could receive elsewhere because the company is so profitable. Most people I know who have worked in the warehouse specifically have described it as backbreaking, tedious work where you were expected to reach some pretty insane quotas. So you guys probably saw in the papers that I showed, that was the list of all of the people who are stowing with me in the warehouse at the same time and it's listed in order of efficiency. So for me, I was like number 22 or 23, and there was a total of maybe 150 or so uh, people on the list bathroom breaks are kept to a minimum, that's if you get one at all, and interacting with your fellow employees in a manner that doesn't involve work is definitely frowned upon. People who've worked in warehouses for decades say this is different, this is not the same. Because of the way that Amazon operates, because of the way that they set their rates for productivity, it's a lot harder work physically, but also psychologically. And because of all of this bad publicity Amazon has received over the last couple of years, they've recently gone on a major PR campaign to make it seem like they actually give a damn about their employees. We've all seen the commercial about the Asian dude who became a nurse through the help of Amazon, really trying to pull on the heartstrings with this one. After taking care of them, I knew that I really wanted to become a nurse. Amazon helped me with training and tuition. Amongst many other pieces of predictive programming designed to paint Amazon in a light like they're an amazing place to work. This is really where I come in with the topic of today's video, where Amazon had Terry Crews come in to do the thing where a celebrity pretends to work a minimum wage job, and they look like they're actually having fun being a regular peasant for the day. They really thought that this was gonna be a hit on TikTok. I heard Amazon was hiring a bajillion people and thought I'd take a look for myself. Do you have to go with the arrow up? Yeah. The arrow up. So Amazon does pay for tuition? Yep. So what do you think my major should be? I'm not sure how much more tone deaf these big companies can be. No one on planet Earth has ever been this happy to show up for a day at work at the Amazon factory. I promise you that. This man must have collected a fat bag off of this deal with that Colgate ass smile. You know they truly have no shame when they bring out the woman in the wheelchair to try and show how inclusive they are. They'd be wheeling her right out the factory if she doesn't meet those quotas, my people. I mean, this motherfucker Terry is really selling this as some sort of fun place to work. Hi, Savannah. Hi, <laughs> Terry. Wait, I get to grab a forklift? Benefits, tuition, and flexible hours. They're hiring everywhere, so check it out for yourself. Oh my god, I get to drive a forklift? I mean, what the actual fuck, Amazon? You think some dude is sitting at home bricked up over the idea of operating that bullshit? And in the time they took to make this TikTok, Jeff Bezos pocketed another 50 million. They are spending so much money to try and put lipstick on this pig, and it's just not working. If I was them, I would just go the opposite route and just be brutally honest. Like, yeah, we know it sucks to work here, but you really have no choice if you want to pay your rent. So come to us instead of Walmart, or Target, or any of these other retailers. And honestly, they don't even have to treat their employees right, because the next guy is always walking right through that door every single day, just ready to stack those boxes. I mean, they have an employee turnover rate of over 150%, which is just mind-boggling considering 
considering most businesses, including retailers and other mass labor corporations, tend to have a turnover rate between 12 and 20 percent. Meaning for Amazon, if you had 100 employees, 150 percent turnover would be employing 150 new people over 12 months while still only staying at 100 employees, which essentially means the equivalent of everyone left and even half of their replacements left too. So let me know what you guys think about this down below. Terry, I know you were just collecting a bag, my guy. But Jesus Christ, these big companies are just so tone deaf. They know nothing what it's like to just be an average motherfucker out here hating their job. But as always, I do want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Thank you for all the support lately. I'm sorry for the lack of uploads this last week. Your boy was in Vegas burying a hole in my own pocket. So I had my fun, but now I'm back full force. Bunch of new videos this week, so make sure you subscribe. Drop a like, and as always, you know there's some other crazy motherfuckers out here that need to get covered, so it's been your boy the Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace!